Hello children. How are you all? I hope you all are keeping safe at home. I welcome you all to today's English class. Children, do you know what are we going to do today? Yes. It is very different topic. Today I thought of doing something different other than our grammar topics, our literature chapters. I thought why not work upon our writing skills. Yes. Today we are going to improve our writing skills. Children, do you know what do we mean by writing skills? What is meant by writing skills? You might be thinking that today is a session in which we are going to improve our handwriting. No, you are mistaken in that case. We are not going to work on handwriting today. Writing skills here mean our creative writing skills. Now, what is this creative writing? Children, as the name tells, creative writing. Creative writing means something that you write with your own creativity. Generally, whenever we do our textbook chapters, you write the answers based on the facts that are given in the chapter. Now, in creative writing, you have to use your imagination. Yes, you all have to wear your thinking caps and let's see what are we going to do today to improve your creative writing skills. Children, today we are going to learn how to write a picture composition. Now, you might be wondering, what is this picture composition? Just think about it. Picture composition. What does the name tell you? Okay, to help you, let me give you an idea. Children, a picture composition involves writing sentences based on a given picture or set of pictures. Yes, when you are given a picture. In picture composition, the picture is given to you and based on that picture, you have to write a few sentences or maybe a paragraph. Right? That is called a picture composition. That is writing sentences based on a given picture or set of pictures. Set of pictures means, yes, there might be more than one picture given to you. Right? Now, this question might come in your mind. What is the objective? Why do I need to learn? That how to write a picture composition. Children, whenever we observe a picture, lots of ideas and thoughts come across our mind. So, picture composition provides us the ability to express thoughts, feelings and opinions. Right, children, whenever we see a picture, there are different thoughts that come in our mind. And maybe the thoughts that come in my mind might be different from the thoughts that come in your mind or maybe your friend's mind. Right? So, there are varied thoughts. So, when we know how to write a picture composition, we can express our ideas, our thoughts and our feelings about that picture nicely. 
Let me show you a set of pictures. Yes. For example, you come across this picture. There can be many thoughts that might come in your mind. First of all, where is this picture located? I mean, what is this picture about? Yes, this is the scene of a beach. Right? Children are playing. Some of them are playing with the sand, making sand castles. Some of them are enjoying in the sea. The sun is shining brightly. And we can see a person enjoying parasailing. So, varied thoughts might come to your mind. It is a sunny day. Right? But these thoughts, they come in random order. And when we write a picture composition, we need to organize our thoughts. Similarly, when you look at this picture, what is this picture about? Yes, we can very well see a train over here. So, this is the scene of a railway station. A porter is carrying loads on his head. Then we can see a worker also cleaning the platform. So, again, different thoughts might come in our minds when we see this picture. And if we have a look at this picture, this seems to be the picture of a fun fair. Wherein we can see children enjoying the fair. Enjoying the slides that are there. There are various stalls also. So children, different pictures bring different thoughts in our mind. Now we have understood that what is a picture composition? It is when a picture is given to you and you have to write sentences about it. We have also understood what is the need or what is the objective to learn how to write a picture composition in order to express our ideas, express our thoughts nicely. Now, the next question that comes to our mind is how to write a picture composition. I have understood what is it. I have understood that I need to learn it. But how do I write it? How to write a picture composition? Children, though it is new to you, but I will make it very easy for you. Right? So, please Notice all the points very carefully. And you know, by the end of this session, you'll definitely be able to write a beautiful picture composition on your own. Right? So, let's get started. A picture composition requires you to Carefully observe the given picture and describe it in the form of a composition having meaningful sentences. Yes. How to write a picture composition? We have to first carefully observe the picture that is given to us and then we need to describe it in the form of a composition having Meaningful sentences. Meaningful means sentences that carry certain meaning. Now, the key points that you have to keep in mind while writing a picture composition are here as follows. First of all, the first and the foremost important point that you have to keep in mind is Carefully observe the picture. Now children, when I say carefully observe the picture, 
that doesn't mean that you just have to give a glance to the picture you just have to look at the picture there is a difference between looking and observing looking means we just look at it that's it observe means we notice we take a note of all the important things that are there in the picture so first of all we have to carefully observe the picture and in our observation we have to observe the people that are there in the picture the things that are there in the picture and the actions that we can see so observe the people things or actions you can see so we have to note each and every element of the picture the people the things what are they doing so we have to observe all of these very carefully next ask questions and note down the observations or answers to the questions now we have to question ourselves and then we have to note down the observations or the answers to the questions we can do this mentally also now you would be asking ma'am what questions do i need to ask yes these are the set of questions that you need to ask yourself first of all ask what is the picture about like we saw three pictures the first one was about a sea beach scene of a beach second one was about the scene of a railway station third was the scene at a fair so we have to see first of all that what is the picture about then who all are there in the picture then we have to notice the people who all are there in the picture like in the first picture we saw the scene of a beach there were small children in the second picture the scene at a railway station we saw yes a porter a cleaner then a lady getting down of the train right so we have to see who all are there in the picture then we have to see what is happening in the picture like i just told you you have to note down the actions also so what is happening in the picture what action is being done in the picture by the people right so we have to ask these questions ourselves and then we have to note down the observations or the answers to these questions either on a paper or we can do this mentally also after that arrange the observations in a logical order now this point is very very important you have to arrange all the observations that you note in a logical order in a sequential order for example you are telling about the scene at a beach so what the children are doing what people are doing you'll write all these sentences one after the other right and if you are talking about the sky like the sun is shining brightly in the sky then there are birds flying in the sky so these sentences you'll write one after the other so there should be a sequential order there should be a logical order to the sentences that you right then very important we have to write meaningful sentences to form a composition the sentences should be meaningful and then we can write a title to the composition based on the main theme of the picture on the basis of the main theme that is depicted in the picture we can give a title to the composition that we write so children these are the steps for writing a picture
composition. Now, very important thing, wind up the picture composition with some interesting observation. The last line could be the most interesting line. Now, we have to wind up the picture composition. Wind up means we have the closing of the picture composition. That means the last line when we end our picture composition, we have to write an interesting observation. As the last line could be the most interesting and the most impressive line of your composition. After that children, the final draft. Final draft means finally the composition that you write should be thoroughly checked. Thoroughly means very nicely checked for correct punctuation marks. Punctuation marks means whether you have put all the full stops, commas at the right place or not. Grammatical construction of sentences, whether the sentences are grammatically correct and of course spellings. Right? After you write the final composition, check it once. Right children? So are you ready? Would you like to do a picture composition with me? Let's do it together for the first time. Let's do a picture composition together. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope the same for you. Oh wow, what an interesting picture. Yes. Now children, carefully observe the picture. This is the picture about which we are going to write a picture composition together. And I promise it's not going to be a tough job for you. And children, one very important thing. We'll write the picture composition. Picture composition, in fact, they are generally written in present continuous tense. And that is the tense that we have done most recently. So you must add the purpose of doing this picture composition after that tense is that you know the rules of the tense and you can frame your sentences easily. Let's get started. Okay. First of all, remember what was the first question? What is the scene about? So we can write, this is the scene of a park. We can all see a very simple and an easy, and an easy sentence. This is the scene of a park. Right children, please pay no, no, attention to the spellings of the word scene. So this is the scene of a park. You can also write this is the picture of a park. Now, what else do you want to write? How does the park look like? Is it tidy? Is it neat? Or does it seem dirty? I think it is neat. So we can write the park is neat and tidy. Yes, again a simple sentence we can write. This is the scene of a park. The park is neat and tidy. Then what? What can we see? Can we see the sun? And then can we see a bird also over here? Let's write about them. The sun is shining brightly. We can see the sun over here. So we can write that the sun is shining brightly in the sky. Now, while we are writing about the sun, why forget this bird? Yes, a bird is flying in the sky. You can also write while we are writing about the sky only because there has to be a logical order. We can also write there are clouds in the sky. Now, now let's see. What else can we see? Can we see a lady, a woman and a child and a girl sitting on a bench? Yes, we can try it. An old woman and a girl are sitting on a bench. Now children, as I had told you, we have to write in a logical order. So while we are writing about 
two of them will not jump to this boy that a boy is running with his dog no what else can we write about two of them we'll write that first an old woman and a girl are sitting on a bench they are reading a book yes we can write that about uh, about both of them then what else a boy is standing behind them yes we can see a boy standing behind them yes so we have to cover all of them one after the other so that there seems to be a sequence there seems to be a logical order now what else can we see now we can write about this boy another boy is running with his dog children pay attention to present continuous tense is running then they we can see a girl also who is taking a ride on her scooty so you can write one more girl is taking a ride on her scooty is taking now what is we have not talked about these two children so let's write about them two children are playing on the trunk of a tree yes so we have covered almost all the people in the picture we have written about all of them you can also write there are green trees in the park there is or you can write there is a lot of greenery in the park now we have to close our composition so a general sentence and an impressive line what can we write everyone is enjoying in the park so a sentence that covers everyone in the park everyone is enjoying in the park so that is how we end our composition yes it was easy i'm sure it was okay would you like to have a look at the final draft how does the complete composition the complete paragraph looks like yes oh wow we have been able to write so many sentences that's great so here is the picture for you to relate it to the composition so what we had written this is the scene of a park the park is neat and tidy the sun is shining brightly a bird is flying in the sky an old woman and a girl are sitting on a bench they are reading a book a boy is standing behind them another boy is running with his dog one more girl is taking a ride on her scooty two children are playing on the trunk of a tree everyone is enjoying in the park so children that is how we write a picture composition and everywhere you can see these are the general sentences scene of a park it is neat and tidy after that we have made use of present continuous tense is shining is flying are sitting are reading is standing is running is taking are playing is enjoying all these are in present continuous tense i'm sure it was easy for you and you would have learned how to write a picture composition nicely we'll do more of them in the coming time that's all for today my dear children happy learning and have great fun at home bye bye